This segment covers the different ways in which you might protect access to your data on Apple's mobile devices, such as iPhone and iPad, using iOS 6. Although companies like Apple enforce stringent policies for the quality and safety of content available on their iOS devices, responsibility for protecting access to the device itself sits with the user. After registering your device, there are a few simple steps you can follow to help secure your phone or tablet and any personal data you're likely to store on it. Out of the box, the iPhone and iPad allow you to set up a passcode lock that will prevent access to the device automatically after a defined time period. This is a simple and effective way of locking your device should you misplace, lose or have it stolen. To set up or change an iOS device passcode, to open Settings, General, and scroll down to the passcode lock options. For convenience, the default setting requires the owner to choose a four digit numerical passcode, known as a simple passcode, similar to a bank card pin. But for additional security, you can disable the simple passcode and enter a longer and more secure alphanumeric passcode that contains numbers, letters, and special characters. You can also manage access to selective device features when the passcode is active. Also in the passcode lock settings is the erase data feature, which if enabled will automatically wipe all your data and reset the device to its factory settings after 10 incorrect passcode attempts. You'd obviously want to think carefully before enabling this setting. For example, young children attempting to access your device at home could easily ruin your day. But used in conjunction with a passcode lock, these two settings offer good protection for your personal or business data on your device if it's lost or stolen. When it comes to wireless network access, iOS devices provide both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity for accessing and sharing data on the move. As with normal PC or laptop use, it's good practice to disable wireless and radio networks if they're not being used and only join Wi-Fi networks you know and trust. If you do have Wi-Fi enabled, you can prevent your iOS device from automatically joining networks by selecting Ask to Join Networks in the Wi-Fi options under the main settings. Device Bluetooth settings are managed in the general options under the main settings. Apple's iOS 6 now collects various settings for controlling your personal data under the new privacy menu in the main settings. There are valid concerns on location privacy, however certain application features or iOS services can be enhanced by recognising your current location using your Wi-Fi or 3G connection. You can selectively manage which applications have access to your location from the location services list and control which applications are requesting access to items of your personal data. Finally, if you've installed the optional Find My iPhone app from Apple's App Store, your device can be traced if lost or stolen using related web services from Apple. These same settings apply to the iPad.